right, so I was originally going to post this yesterday, but over the weekend, we dog sat these two idiots. And as much as I love them, they don't really like me sleeping. Anyhow, moving along. Y'all know I read this book, but I owe y'all a review on it. I read Alien Clay. If you're in the UK, this book came out earlier in the year. Uh, if you're in the US, it just came out this month. So, Alien K by Adrian Tchaikovsky. If you've read A Moon is a Harsh Mistress, uh, imagine if George R. R. Martin was on one side complaining that you haven't killed enough people and Jeff Vandermeer was on the other side going, how about this for an alien? Because uh, that, that's kind of how it reads to me. Uh, not your everyday aliens, not your everyday story, uh, very, very much a Handmaid's Tale slash 1984 type government. Uh, the main character is not a woman, but it's got that whole, it's called the mandate. It's kind of, that's their version of the state. And the mandate pretty much does uh, whatever they want to do, except for, of course, this is a spacefaring story. And, you know, we found a few planets that just might work for, if not habitat, at least mining purposes. And so what are you going to do when you want to go explore a far off planet and you don't want to go do it yourself? Because that's how most governments work. Um, you find people who are qualified and then you force them against their will. So basically, the state has a habit of rounding up all the ne'er do wells, and a lot of them. I mean, if you're if you have no skills and you're a ne'er do well, then you know we're not going to worry about that. Or you get put to task as labor. Uh, and by the way, ne'er do well just means you did something the government didn't like, or you at least did something that the government can pretend it didn't like, so that they can put you to work. And our main character, he is a professor, he's a scientist, and he's got some uh, skills that are going to work uh, for what they want to do on this planet. Uh, but he also has a habit of speaking his mind. So, see ya. Uh, the rest of the tale, he's on this planet, he's kind of set up against everybody else. Everybody there doesn't know who they can trust. They obviously can't trust the people in charge, uh, but the rest of the prisoners, you know, are you there because somebody ratted you out? And just because they're there too doesn't mean that they didn't rat you out. It just means that uh, maybe once the government milked you for all their information, they, they sent you to prison camp anyhow on a far, far, far away planet. And on top of that, uh, the planet itself is is more interested in you than is probably healthy. So, <laughs> won't go into all of the super details. I, I want you to enjoy the story for yourself. I don't want to give anything away. But, yeah, if, if you like the 1984 type, you know, psycho government conspiracy. I don't want to say conspiracy because it's not a conspiracy if they're actually against you. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh and you also like the whole alien thing. Uh, again, this to me is the, the thing that sets this apart. Because I've seen certain t stories that go kind of along these lines before. Uh, but it's always humans. Or humanoids. Or bipedals. Uh, Adrian Tchaikovsky definitely gives you a different type of alien. Something you're, you're not going to see on a Star Trek episode. That, that's all I'm saying. Uh, and he weaves between them in such a way that if you like one or the other but not both. There's enough of each to keep you satisfied. And if you like both, it's it's just a, a no-brainer. You got to go get it. So I gave it, I think I gave it a four star. Um, second guessing myself. Yes. So I, I gave this one four stars. It's partly because of the fact that I don't know if it's a re-readable one. Uh, a lot of times to me, a five star either has to be something that's ridiculously over the top great or it's something that like I read this but you know I'm I know I'm gonna be reading this again and again uh, and I feel like when you get to the end of the book I don't know if 
you get that same feeling going through it a second time. But uh, ending was great. Uh, the one of the side characters' name is Rasmussen. Uh, I won't. I'll let you discover who they are on your own as you read the book. But the wrap up at the end, when you realize why they are the way they are, spot on. That's all. That's all I'm going to say about that. So if you haven't checked out Adrian Tchaikovsky yet, which is kind of surprising because he's written a lot of books, uh, definitely check this one out. I'm also currently in the middle of. Uh, service model. I'd say in the middle of, I'm a little over halfway through service model, which is another one I'll be doing a review for soon because I'm absolutely loving that one. Uh, depending on how that one ends, that might actually get the five star from me. And that doesn't happen a lot. So check out Tchaikovsky if you haven't checked him out already. And also if you missed it, uh, I'll also pop up at least one of these links. I don't know which one it'll be yet. <laughs> it will be to the interview that we had uh, just week or two ago. All right. So thank you for your time. Hope you guys get a lot of four and five star reads and I will catch you later.